so where if we here we are discuss about uh, experiment number one of bsc second semester its aim is to separate and identify chlorophyll green leaf pigment from spinach by thin layer chromatography this tlc is a technique which is a chromatograph technique this theory is the spinach leaves contain several green pigments such as carotenes xenophthil phenophthil chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b since these compounds have different affinities for the solvent hence these components have different positions on the chromatoplate the more weakly a chromatoplate absorbed the faster it will migrate up to the tlc plate the apparatus used in this practical are the tlc chamber tlc silica gel plate round bottom flask separating funnel eline mer flask jo ki 100 ml ka hona chahiye aur ek morton and pestle the reagents used in this practical are petroleum ether acetone isopropyl alcohol nsl cso3 Na2SO4. Mobile phase is also used in the developing solvent form. 100 ml petroleum ether, 11 ml isopropyl alcohol, and five drops of distilled water. Now we will see its procedure. The first uh, step of procedure is to preparation of pigment extract. Take some green leaves or spinach leaves and sand in a neat and clean glass mortar. Grind it very well so that the cell walls be broken and obtain the component. Add about 20 ml of acetone or alcohol and 0.5 grams CSO3. The filtrate is taken in separating funnel. Add 2 ml petroleum ether and 20 ml of 10% NaCl aqueous solution. Shake the separating funnel carefully. reject the lower layer and wash the upper layer 3 to 4 times with distilled water the extract is uh, collected on a 1 g na2so4 in a canonical flask the liquid is uh, decanted carefully into a round bottom flask and uh, concentrated to about 3 ml the second step of its procedure is to preparation of tlc chamber The developing solvent is taken in the TLC chamber. It is kept covered so that evaporation does not change the composition of developing solvent. Thus, the TLC chamber gets uh, saturated with the vapors of developing solvent. The third step of uh, this procedure is the separation and identification. The chromato plate is prepared as described previously. A line is drawn with a pencil about two centimeter above the one end. a drop is placed on the line with the help of capillary tube dry it then repeat the process till the spot is very dark green now place the plate vertical carefully in the tlc chamber the bottom of the plate should be in contact with developing solvent and tlc chamber should be covered allow the solvent to raise up to the upper line of the plate remove the plate and immediately mark the position of the spot now we can see here what observations we find here when we say uh, take the pigment of chlorophyll a the color of the band will be bluish green and distance traveled by pigment from the origin will be 5.8 cm and distance traveled by the solvent will be 7.4 cm and the rf value we got here is 0.78 when we take chlorophyll b color of the band will be green and distance traveled by pigment from the origin will be 6.9 cm distance traveled by the solvent will be same as the previous 7.4 cm and the rf value is we here 0.93 So we find here the two RF values. In phenolphthalein, we got zero point eight three, and in chlorophyll A, we got it zero point six four. So now we will move towards the calculations, and the RF value will be found with the help of this formula. RF is equal to distance traveled by the pigment from the origin upon distance traveled by the solvent from the origin. Then we find this result here, 
द स्पाइनिक लीव कंटेन द कैरेटीन फियोफिन जेंथोफिल क्लोरोफिल ए एंड क्लोरोफिल बी एंड देयर आर एफ वैल्यू विल बी जीरो पॉइंट सेवन एट एंड जीरो पॉइंट नाइन थ्री रिस्पेक्टिवली थैंक यू